In this video, we're going to talk about kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of a moving object, and so kinetic energy is often stated to be the energy of motion. And so anything that is moving, like these birds in the picture, have kinetic energy. Kinetic energy depends on two variables, the velocity of an object and the mass of the object. And so the faster an object has, or in other words, the more velocity an object has, the more kinetic energy it has. Likewise, the more massive an object is, the more kinetic energy it has. Sometimes it's best to visualize this type of energy in terms of how difficult it would be for you to oppose the energy. Let's start with velocity. If someone were to toss you this small steel bear balling, you could pretty easily stop it with your hand. You might even be able to catch it. Now, if you could increase the velocity of that ball bearing by maybe shooting it out of a gun, it would be a really bad idea to try and stop that with your hand. Okay, so let's look at mass now. If a tennis ball was rolling towards you at 10 kilometers per hour, that's about the average speed of some uh, a human running. You could probably step in front of it and stop it with your foot. Now, if a more massive object, like an automobile, was traveling at 10 kilometers per hour, it'd be pretty unwise to step in front of that and stop it with your foot. So you can see that velocity and mass um, are going to affect kinetic energy. Velocity increases, kinetic energy increases, mass increases, kinetic energy increases. Now kinetic energy and work are related to each other. Work is calculated by this equation, work equals force times displacement. And so work is a force being used to move an object. Work is measured in units of joules. Now work involves motion, and so does kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is calculated using the equation kinetic energy equals one-half of mass, mass of the object, times the velocity of the object, squared. Both work and kinetic energy both use units of joules. In another video, I'll show you how this equation actually comes from this equation right here. So let's try using this equation for kinetic energy. Here's a problem. An 86 kilogram hockey player is skating hard towards the net. He is traveling at 35 kilometers per hour. What is the kinetic energy of the hockey player? Now when I solve a problem, I like to underline the given information in green and what the question is actually asking for in red. After that, I like to list the data. So let's start with the first thing we underlined. And this is the mass of the hockey player. So I'm going to label this M. And I'll just write that in here just to help organize myself. The other thing that's given is the velocity of the hockey player, which is 35 kilometers per hour. And then what I'm looking for is kinetic energy. So I'm going to list that here as well, just with a question mark for now. After we've listed the data, the next thing I do is I write the equation that I'm going to use. So kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mass times velocity squared. Now we have to use SI units when we're plugging numbers into this equation. So the SI unit, or the standard unit for mass, is the kilogram. And so this number is OK. But the SI unit for velocity is meters per second. So this is in kilometers per hour, so we're going to need to convert that first. And so I've set up this number, uh, multiplying it by these conversion factors. There are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. Kilometers will cancel. There are uh, there is 3,600 seconds in an hour. My hours will cancel. If they're on the opposite sides of fractions like that, top and bottom, they're going to cancel each other. And you can see that I'm going to be left with meters per second. And so 35 kilometers is the same thing as 9.72 meters per second. Now we can go ahead and plug things into our equation. So I have my mass of 86 kilograms, which we'll plug in there, and I have my velocity in SI units that I can plug in for the velocity. And so kinetic energy is going to be equal to 4,060 joules. Now a lot of times if it's that big of a number we like to convert this into kilojoules. To do that we divide by a thousand because kilo means a thousand. And so this would be the same thing as 4.06 kilojoules. And that is kinetic energy.